Changes in the shape of the curve over time are measured by the slope of the yield curve. When there is a big difference between the short and the long end of the curve, it is considered to be a steep curve. When there is very little difference between the two ends, the curve is considered to be flat. The changing of the curve from steep to flat is often referred to as flattening. Similarly, the changing of the curve from flat to steep is called steepening. This steepening and flattening of the curve can help investors to signal changes in the economic climate. The yield curve is said to be flattening when long yields come down while short yields go up, which decreases the difference between the two and makes the slope less steep. Flattening typically happens when the economy is in full recovery mode. The chart on the screen compares the yield curve on two different dates. The darker red line is the yield curve in early 2010, while the bright red line is the curve in late 2018. As you can see, the yield on longer maturities came down while the yield on shorter maturities moved higher, changing a very steep curve in 2010 to a very flat curve in 2018. Steepening the opposite situation. When the difference between the two ends of the curves is small but starting to increase, is called the steepening of the curve. Steep curves are generally seen at the beginning of a growth or expansion period. The chart on the screen shows an example of a steepening curve. In May 2007, the yield curve was very flat. With all maturities above 4.65%, from that point to August 2010, yields came down across the curve, but they came down much harder on the short end. This asymmetric decline caused a steepening of the curve.